Ravens folks, in this video we'll show you the options of J-type door chambers. So the first J-type is a 36 inch, it's a Lux model, but let's not focus on the model, let's just focus on the J-type door. So here is the door, J-type for easy entry and egress, and we'll make another video on how easy it is to get into that. But let's keep the content here of the comparison of J-type. Now here, the chamber is being pressurized, Plenty of windows. We have the external pressure gauge, the open close valve, uh, standard compressor, and then the oxygen concentrator. You could add the humidifier or air conditioner depending on your needs. So notice that here you have a platform, and that's also optional, and it allows you to get in and out of the chamber or entry and egress made easier by means of this providing this platform. Now let's compare this J-type model with another J-type what we have, and that's called the vertical mini. Well, by the way, this is a 1.4, and now we'll go to a 1.5 ATA J-type, and that's vertical mini. The feature of vertical mini, and the strength of that vertical mini is the frame. This frame is a sturdier metal frame that has been tested to withstand enormous amount of stress and that is the strength of this um, chamber here you can see that it's fully pressurized again it can be pressurized to 1.5 ATA and let's take a look we have pressurized this chamber and here we are it's about 50 kilopascal while at it let's go over the features here's the emergency pressure release valve intuitively written open closed valve you have the external pressure gauge, and then you have the internal pressure gauge, which is visible from inside. Now, let's take a look at the inside to show you the room. Go ahead. There it is, it's plenty of room. There it is, beautiful. And now in the back, you have the AC option. Here, you can literally put an internal condensing unit inside of the machine, and for the external compressor, you would be powering. Here's the power for the internal condensing unit, and the external condensing unit would be located right here. We have the redundant valves. Oh, by the way, let's point out what the external AC would look like. That would look like something like this. So that would work in conjunction with the internal AC, which is powered to here. Now let's talk about compressor options. So here we are using 110 liter per minute compressor. However, if you'd like to use a larger capacity compressor, you can use a 160 liter compressor. So that would reduce the, the pressurization time, allowing you to have more sessions throughout the day if you are a clinic. So let's do a recap. So as you can see, it has plenty of options, plenty of light to enter into the chamber. You have windows here, you have windows there, and there are a huge, port right here as well. So all of these windows, this windows, and relatively larger windows, here you can see the chair inside. So one huge window and two even larger windows on the side, you have plenty of light to enter the chamber. And then we talked about the air, air conditioner in order to keep your client nice and cool, especially if you're located in southern parts of the country or you feel that your patients would prefer nice cool environment, the ambient that is, you can also add the AC. And for that you have the internal condensing unit and you have the external compressor, which is right here. So here is the beautiful J-type with, with an extremely sturdier frame that has been tested to withstand huge amount of force. So to me, this is a lot more sturdier version of upright chambers. Now this is for those individuals who perhaps had a little bit of challenge to get in and out of a line chamber, the one which we showed there, the other J-type. So for those clients of yours or patients of yours with a little bit of mobility issues or challenge in terms of range of motion, we recommend that. However, the platform and this model of chamber that has the J-type door as shown here. 
on a frame that can be taken advantage of as getting in and out of bed, this too is a good solution. So in the next video, we'll show you how easy it is on this J-type door to get in and out of this chamber. So to recap, it's all your preference, what kind of patients that you would be serving. That one is more for upright application, hyperbaric session application that is. And here, you'd have the option to get in and out of chamber as if you are going in and out of bed. This one capping at 1.4, that one capping at 1.5. So let's go to the next video and we'll show you how easy it is to get in and out of this chamber. And now Matt will demonstrate how easy it is to get in and out of this J-type. So here he's sitting comfortably and he's in. And after the session is done, he would unzip all three zipper systems and then he would step out from the chamber as if he's stepping out of bed. And then that's pretty much it uh, to operate the J-type on this, um, the lying chamber that's on a platform. And now we will show you the platform. It is the platform that allows you to have that getting in and out of bed feature, which makes it a, uh, a perfect solution for those with a little bit of challenge getting in and out of chamber when the chamber is laid flat on the floor. Here in this video, we'll show how to get in and out of this J-Type 1.5. So Matt is now going to demonstrate. So here he goes. And then Matt would zip in, and then after the session is done, this is the way to step out of this chamber. Grabbing the handle, and that's where the sturdy frame comes in. It's as easy as that. And hence we recommend if there are patients who are challenged, be that mobility issues or range of motion, this sturdy handle that has been tested thoroughly with an incredible amount of weight-bearing capacity, this is the right solution for such application.